a sort of message from yourself for the new year uh, and thanks for talking to the website for that. In many ways 2013 was a year of ups and downs for the club. Um, the first half of the year was particularly testing. So can you give uh, the viewers an insight into how tough things were at that stage? Well, probably the worst thing was just the amount of players that we were losing at the uh -huh. time and the changes it was making to the squad that we were working with under new management. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it was quite unsettling. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an easy start. Yeah, because we'd, we'd lost a winger and a midfielder to and top scorers yeah. and everything. Exactly. Yeah. We'd, yeah. we'd lost quality players mm -hmm. at the end of the day. And of course at that time of year it wasn't really the time to bring them in as such. Well, that, that's the other thing. It, I, I found it particular at that time of the year that there wasn't a lot of player movement yeah. in the Highland League yeah. at all. Full stop. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So not just us, it was other clubs as well. Yeah. 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 Okay, and uh, things improved certainly in the second half of the year, particularly... Uh, on, on the park and the green shoots of recovery uh, in the team but also those off the park as well with the team coming on board. What was the most satisfying aspects to you in both areas? Well probably as you said uh, signs of recovery we started to string a few results together which were quite good and um, surprising a few people here and there at the same time we were starting to bring in some uh, new players that were a bit of unknown quantities but they, they were brought in uh, sensible prices, etc. And as, as you said, there was encouragement for the start of this season. Yeah, yeah. Certainly so, the guys that were brought in in the summer, like Aaron Conway and Cassegate, a bit of without, quality. Without a doubt, they added quality, and I think it was obvious fairly early. Mm -hmm. And by that time, the management team had started to put their own stamp on the team mm -hmm. that they inherited. Yeah. Which also gave them a wee bit more, you know. Uh, are their influence. Yeah, and I think certainly with a couple of guys that I mentioned there, Aaron and Chris, I mean, they'd played in the Scottish League and they were exactly. nobody else's radar, they just seemed to be in ours. Yeah, we we seemed to find out about them and were lucky to be able to make a move and get them secured before anyone else mm. got in about them. Mm -hmm. Although, like said, Chris did speak to a couple of other teams. Right, yeah. But the big thing is that the likes of Aaron is so happy here that he's... Uh, Extended his contract already. Yeah, and that's fantastic. And some other boys have done that great as well. For the future. So, yeah, 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 that's good for the future. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, obviously, finances were, were a key factor there, with less revenue coming in than we had in the past, and the club had to cut its new cloth accordingly. Uh, what areas were looked at to manage finances better, and how did you feel the goals were achieved? Well, obviously, with any new signings, we were trying to reduce financial obligations, we try to do our best to reduce the wages, it's not easy as I've said in the past, but um, we did achieve an element of success in that. Um, yeah, it was difficult without the finances because we we're also trying to make ground improvements at the same time and they cost money yeah. and you've got to try and balance between you know, your own field and your off field situation mm -hmm. and that's not an easy thing to balance. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the, the maybe you suffer the, the likes of ground improvements, that's an initial cost, but it's a one off cost. And yeah. it's, it's nullified when these come into being and get money in that way. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll, that'll, you know, that'll be cancelled out by. Hopefully. When, hopefully. When we get so again, it showed so. up in the accounts at the AGM yeah. that we'd spent a lot of money in the previous year. A lot of that was down to the planning applications, yeah. the stuff we had to go through with Murray Council, of course, the special lot, reports yeah. we had to do, yeah. and all in all, as I said at the AGM, it came to just short of £10,000 in extraordinary <laughs> payments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They no, are one-offs. That's, it, that's yeah. one off. that's the main thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, one goal obviously was to, to, get, is to have these new modular buildings, uh, which we'll hopefully in for, for next season. Um, and that'll bring in financial you know, backing through membership of the club and stuff like that. There have been some concern that they're not in place, so what's the kind of timing for that now? What are we looking at? There's, there's a few factors have been involved in that, and a lot of people didn't understand that yeah, perhaps uh, yeah, the case, buildings yeah. have been here for a while, but we still had to lay the foundations. They've yeah. got to be on foundations. Yeah. The foundations are there, they're ready. We are literally waiting for some assistance which we hope to get in the next week or so to actually locate the buildings on top of the foundations mm -hmm. and then yeah, it will start to look like it's something coming together. As far as I'm concerned as a target, I, I still see next season as being realistic, 
but at the same time, we need help and we need people to come forward and offer help. Offer their services for others. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. there must be trees out there that follow the club. Exactly. Yeah, and just get and, them involved. And there's a fair bit of work to be done internally. It'd yeah. be great if we can get people on board. Because I mean, it's not just a case of laying the buildings in, you need like pathways and all that put in well, as well. Well, we've got to live up to all the criteria that Murray Council laid down. Yeah. And as I said, it's pretty daunting. It would have been easier to build a penthouse block of mm. flats with balconies than it was to build that. <laughs> and they <laughs> took it. That, yeah, that's so much right, David. That's the way it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah obviously, they are, they are key for us. Just how important are these going to be? From a financial perspective, yeah. compared to the situation we're currently in, it's going to be like chalk and cheese. Um, there's no question we're going to have a members club. There's no question the feedback I've had from supporters yeah. in particular is they'd be willing to join a members club. Yeah. The actual match day sponsorship we'll be able to provide will be significantly better than what we're currently doing. Yeah. Simply because if there's so we can't make so money space. out of that, yeah. then there's something wrong. Yeah. And I think it will be a significant contribution to the club. Mm -hmm. Finances. Probably one of the biggest in, in many years. I would say if, so. T if it really takes off. Yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully there will. Uh, not, I, I say not just the, the buildings, but obviously no doubt that Victoria Park has massive potential in its own. Uh, it seems to have been the sleeping giant for some time now. So, um, but the clubs for future for future development, not just the buildings, any other things that may be coming in. Well, the stand was never pie in the sky. Right. Okay. So. Don't let anyone forget that there still will be a new stand here, I can guarantee that. But my focus at the moment is getting the club more financially stable through the portable buildings. And then it will come. Well, not portable buildings, what's going to be our function suite. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But once that's in place, then I can start looking at other things. Yeah. But the stand will come. It's one step at a time, isn't it? You can't it do everything. It's one step at a time. You can't do everything in one go. And we're going to work with Sports Scotland, and we're going to work with whoever we can, mm -hmm. that can aid us to improve facilities in what you have said is a place with fantastic potential. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, see, there's no doubt uh, coming, obviously a big help could be the fans in, in many aspects. They're, they're a great bunch of supporters. Um, is there any other ways that they can help out and what you'd be looking for from them? Well, one of the things that I have done since I took over was change the club constitution to allow mem yeah. people who are members of the supporters club, they've become committee members of the club, they could even come onto the board of the club if they so wish. Mm -hmm. That was precluded by the previous constitution. I found it a ridiculous uh, clause and I got rid of it. And I'm happy I've done that because I totally believe in engaging the supporters mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the club. Mm -hmm. They are the backbone of the club. Mm -hmm. They are, yeah, and you see the thing. They're the they president, do. it's the supporters. Yeah, yeah. They provide stewards, they, you know, they provide help. The way they've they helped. programs, they... With the club licensing and everything that they're doing to help me maintain our club licensing, the supporters club would be fantastic. Yeah, that's it. The that's more it. we can do together, the better. The better, absolutely. That should be, that should be, a, it goes by the vote for any team, but and especially, a as especially a local team like us, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, Going back to the team, um, how do you th how do you think they've done overall this season, and how do you think they can finish? It? How far do you think they can finish? It? Well, I gave the management a target uh, top six. Mm -hmm. um, if if they achieve that, I'll be more than happy. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because once again, the league looks to be even more challenging than it's been yeah. in previous years, and we keep saying that it keeps getting better and better. But if we could finish the best of the rest, considering where we were last year, that would considering be Considering where we were last year, which was our worst since, was it 1954 or something? Uh, long time. Well, ten, 10 years anyway. It was a long time, long anyway, time yeah. league yeah. position. I, I just want to say, right, we're in the top six. Yeah. And that's, that, that's what I'm aiming for. But what I will say is we've now got a squad secured here until the earliest is 2016. Mm. In other words, the current score are going to be together for uh, another two years, two, years. Yeah. two seasons, some of them three seasons. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, the more they play together, the mm -hmm. better they play together. 
I think we've got some to look forward to. Obviously, there's still a League Cup to play for, which would just be a bonus. And how much would that mean to us? It'd be huge because we only won it the year before last. Mm -hmm. So it would still keep us as a showing that we're still a viable club. We're still a club that's got promise and we're still a club that can achieve things. And in a League Cup competition, mm -hmm. as any cup competition, you just it's all down to draw. Totally Who you get, yeah. how the game goes, mm -hmm. on the day, end of story, you're in the final the green, isn't it? and yeah. you could win it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. So in general, how do you feel the club stands now as opposed to when you began your presidency in 2012? That's a difficult question because mm. yeah we're going, we are going places, mm -hmm. I think we are moving forward. It's maybe not as fast as I would like, but I've got an appetite for getting things done quickly. Mm -hmm. And it's maybe not happening quickly enough. But Just looking into other aspects of it, we can raise money from, we or need things to raise that have more money. things that haven't worked. Or we need to raise more money. The Jags jackpot was a disappointment with the mm -hmm. take up on that. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at ways of maybe revamping it mm -hmm. and relaunching it, if you like. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel it should be doing better for the club that it has. Uh, in, in terms of the amount of supporters we have, mm -hmm. and it's not a big ask, um, you know, in terms of joining it. Yeah, isn't, think, no, isn't it's quite easy. I, I think it's quite easy. But quite easy. At the end of the day, it would be nice to see more people participating in that. Yeah. But apart from that, um, yeah, we're looking at other ways to move forward, and I would, I would like to think there will be other changes apart from just the. Mm -hmm. The buildings. Mm -hmm. There might be other improvements, mm -hmm. like facilities for disabled supporters. Yeah. Well, that's that would be good, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 I believe if we plans. do something like that for, say, the stand, we can actually increase the capacity as well. I'm exactly. Yeah. So we've got the, because uh, we can get support from uh, Sports Scotland. So yeah. That's yeah. the kind of things where you will get grants and you will get assistance. But again, Easton, we're back to finance. Yeah. It needs people to out, help the club. Yeah, because I don't think people realise uh, how much it takes even to run a Highland League club. I don't think people realise They don't, that. do they? Uh, it's, it's massive with buses, with even wages, whatever. It's just a huge thing. It's, it's big. It's big, yeah. 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 People may be an eye-opener for this if they did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they could look Absolutely. at it themselves. Okay, and, and finally then, uh, Guy, uh, just look, try and put yourself standing here this time next year. What do you think your, what are your hopes for achievement on and off the park between now and, and then? Well, like I said, because of the contract extensions, the signings we've made, I, and the terms that we've put them under, we've got a squad that's going to be together for the next two, two seasons, possibly even three. Mm -hmm. And they're hardcore players, they're big players, they're significant players, they're all going to be together. I can only see them getting better. Mm -hmm. The more they play together, the better they'll get. Mm -hmm. And I see us being a serious threat again. Because the Highland League, as you know yourself, with your vast experience, is like a yo-yo. Oh, it's up and down, yeah. Someone yeah. comes in, all of a sudden they're going to have a couple of great seasons, then someone else comes in, like we did against we Cove, did. we right. broke their treble chance, right. you know. Um, that's going to happen at the time, the Highland League. You've now got for Martin, Brora, teams like that. They're the dominant ones at the moment, somebody else has to sit back. But your time will come you again. You bide your time and you wait, don't you? I think we've now bought the time with the agreements we've made with the players and the mm -hmm. squad. Mm -hmm. And I think the squad is good enough mm -hmm. that it'll only improve. Mm -hmm. But oh, that's again, fine. that's wishful thinking. That's wishful thinking, we will see. Well, thank you very much and all the best to yourself and the other directors for taking and the club forward financially. Save yourself. Thanks for all your support over mm -hmm. the years and your vast history. <laughs> and uh, as I said, Happy New Year to Ardy. Yeah. Thank okay. you.